Okay guys, the tire exploded on us. You can see. Hey, welcome back to a new episode of Bad City Berlin. We're out here checking out my new car. Psych, just kidding. Um, out here in West Berlin. I'm gonna go for a ride today from east to west with this bike unit app. Enjoy today's video. Like, share, and subscribe. And enjoy the ride. Let's get to it. My new videos from my YouTube channel. Yeah. Good now. Good night. Good night. Good We're gonna do today a nice little uh, ride here in Berlin. I got a special 44 kilometer route planned for us. We're gonna today check out this app called Bike Unit. It can take us for a nice little tour through Berlin. I wanna check it out this app and see how it works. It's not free, so it's a free seven day trial. It's a bike unit app. And um, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. And I'll try to point things out along the way. So yeah, hope you guys can understand me well today. Rad City, end of February, out here on the 673 RX. Go for a cool ride here through Berlin. So right now we're in Prenzlauerberg, still in East Berlin. Most of my video has been in East Berlin. There's been some West Berlin content, but I live in East Berlin. So typically in Berlin, when you live in a district, and live in a Keats, you typically stay in that Keats. You know, typically don't venture too far away from your Keats normally. But for y'all, I'm glad to venture further out. Take you guys for cool trips around the city. So you guys can see Berlin what the city has to offer so that maybe one day when the uh, pandemic is over you come out to Berlin we can meet up for some schnitzel today's a good video also to kind of go over bicycle lanes here um, in Berlin pretty cool how they have the sidewalk bicycle lane park cars smart system I see that sometimes in America not everywhere this is just one version of the bike lanes here. They have many different kinds here, obviously. They have ones like this here that are going directly onto the street, directly between the moving cars and the pedestrians. Right? So we have all different kinds of streets. We even have here like closed off streets. So in today's video, I'm sure we'll come across all different kinds of streets. Okay, cool. So the bike unit is telling us now to go right. So let's see where this app is taking us today here. Yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying Bad City so, so far. It's been super fun connecting with you guys on Instagram and Facebook. It's been pretty amazing how many people around the world this channel has connected with. That's yeah, been super fun all sorts of different kinds of uh, fat bike riders, it's pretty cool. Not just Super 73, we got some East Gates and this kind of stuff, so that's pretty cool. The whole PEV community is strong worldwide. They all seem to be appreciating the Rad City content. So I really appreciate that nice car. Is that like an MG maybe or a Triumph? Nice orange color. Okay, we got both cams going today. Got the one here pointing in front. And we got the one pointing up here on my head. The microphone's connected. We got the wind blocker on. I started leaving all the videos, all my riding gear. So if anybody's interested, curious what I'm using, what my gear is, this kind of stuff. Um, Look in the comments, look in the uh, description of the video, and you'll see all my all my kit and gear. Alright, let's see, where, the, where is this thing taking us here? I think it's taking us across into the west. This, this route should be taking us all over east to west Berlin. So you guys can really get a good picture of the city. 
see the difference between the east and west. In Berlin, you'll notice here a lot of like um, old buildings next to new buildings, right? And uh, any historian buffs will know, of course, the war. And the uh, new buildings are typically uh, the spaces where there was no building, of course, uh, from being blown up from the war, of course, right? So eventually, at some point, they'll put in some building, but not in the original architecture, right? So they get newer buildings, even newer buildings. You can kind of tell through the generations if it's like 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Right from the, from the from the architecture. Anybody seen uh, Queen's Gambit? This building here, I think that was a placeholder for Paris, I believe. They shot in the interior there. So that's a pretty cool palace. If you've seen Queen's Gambit? Leave a comment if you recognize that building. I want this to go this way. I understand? Okay, fine. See how far we can go today. Before I get too annoyed with my GoPro, hey, what is this line for? Donuts. Oh, okay. You guys see this? See this line for the donuts? There must be some amazing frigging donuts or what now? I've never seen that before. Such a demand for donuts in Berlin. Crazy. Okay. Shout out if you love donuts, y'all. This wants us to go to the right somehow. Alright, let's, let's try our best to connect. I don't know where it wants us to go. Be careful of other bikes and people. So yeah, like I said, at um, some point probably stop recording. I don't really need an app. We could just kind of ride aimlessly. But for safety reasons, it's better to have some sort of destination. Um, Mainly so that way then, you know, I'm, I'm riding, I'm shooting, I'm talking, all a little bit much. And then to not really have a destination or just to ride aimlessly is another mental challenge. So that's why today we're going to be checking out this bike unit app. Shout out from Charles. Nice homeless encampment. Shout out to the German Venice. Peter Parker, by the way. Got some pretty cool videos uh, in Venice Beach. This last video here in Venice Beach was pretty cool. I was looking for the Venice, for the, for the German in Venice. Or even when I'm watching the German in Venice, I'm looking for Peter Parker's bike. Um, you never know, maybe you'll see one or the other on each other's channel. It's always fun to watch. That's really eye-opening though in America. The whole uh, homeless issue in America. It's really, um, <coughs> I wouldn't say out of hand. But it's definitely heartbreaking to see. America is such a state, such a... I don't want to get too much into it. No politics, but yeah. America, I'm sorry that you guys are having such a crazy homeless issue. So this wants us to go, I don't understand, to the left here? Here or somewhere else? Okay, so. I'm saying this app is super confusing. So let's see where this wants us to go. This wants to, I believe it wants us to go this way. Let's see. So for a bike unit, it's getting an F for me. Okay, so this may be correct. Let's see. Like I said, I don't know West Berlin so much. I don't, I'm not here all that often. So, um, I'm as lost as you guys are. It's crazy how it's like Saturday and it's just quiet. Okay, so this is going here. So Kudam is like the main Gucci shopping area here in Berlin. That's where all the rich folks are. Louis Vuitton, G-Wagons, Valentino, Dior, all the rich. Stuff, Prada, as you see, right? So, um, yeah, Kudam is the super rich, affluent part of town, I guess you could say. Here's where you see like Ferraris, and Lambos. 
Yeah, cool. So out here in Kudam, Kurfürstendamm, Kurfürstenstrasse. Really affluent part of town. All you see out here is wealth, money. So, nice easy 25 kilometer hour stroll to the city here. Make it nice and easy. So you guys can see the city grid. And so also we don't get ourselves in any trouble with the law. Rad City of Berlin checking out here. The bike unit app. East to West Berlin. Following along here with this bike unit app, which is so far failing on us. Kind of getting me sometimes more lost than say orientated. kiosk I sell cigarettes <laughs> you see out here a lot in movies here at Kurfürstenstrasse I think it's in movies whole area out here whenever I tell people Berlin I find a lot of times they mention Kurfürstenstrasse Kudam out here it seems to be where a lot of people like to go for shopping but uh other than shopping and tourism, there's not really much to see, I find. If you can afford to shop out here, of course, right? It's not the most uh, cheapest place in town. Okay, this is taking us straight ahead. There's like this um, broken church tower. It's like a church that was bombed out and they just simply never repaired it or restored it. Well, they, well, they restored it in the sense of just putting it back together so it's clean and not gonna fall apart and crumble on people but yeah that church right there in front of us very famous church you see that all over in movies as well too or in news about Berlin West Berlin as you see to the left over there is a zoo it's like the zoo garden the Kranzler the uh, Kranzler Amt corner is, a, a, is also a really famous cafe you see in movies and TV shows in Berlin. Interesting here on the right is an interesting broken building. See so yeah, Rad City of Berlin checking out Kudam, riding through Kudam, using the bike unit app, trying to make it through this 44 kilometer an hour, 44 kilometer route. Let's go. Starbucks. One thing I've learned is to not drink at Starbucks. <laughs> There's all kinds of good cafes out here in Berlin. You can avoid Starbucks. Hey, that church. Really amazing, right? It's pretty cool. The here is like the heart of Kudam. This is really the center of Kudam. Here with this whole church over here. Yeah, here is the really famous part of Kudam. Also a really famous strip along here, shopping area. To the left is a mall. Adidas, stores, Nike, Saturn, like electronic store, kind of like Best Buy. Nike over there. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting part of town. Cool to see occasionally. This part of town here in Schunerberg is the red light district. Prostitution is legal in Berlin. You gotta have a, um, I think I have like a license and a certificate or whatever. Gotta be all legit, but yeah, it's legal. Pimps are not allowed. Pimps are, are illegal in Germany. They call it pimp uh, Anhalter. 
and a pimp is illegal in Germany. You can't, you can't sell a person service nonsense, and you can't own a person. So you can be a, you can be a independent prostitute in Berlin. And that's this part of town here in Bulostrasse, Schunerberg. I don't know. It's not my kind of part of town. I like East Berlin. Maybe. Yeah, Yorkstrasse here. Gleichstreich here. Where we were the other day with the folding Unimax bike. Dirt, uh, Super Dirt Devils. It's over here behind us here at Gleichstreich Park. Cool, so let's see where this thing's taking us. Uh, one up over there, nice graffiti crew in Berlin, worldwide. So, West Berlin. So this thing's taking us here. Underneath the Yorkstrasse. Like I said, hopefully my GoPro does not kick, does not die out on us again. I just stop recording. It's gotta be the most frustrating thing for a YouTuber when you're recording something and then all of a sudden at the end it's like stops recording. Or at the end when you try to go check your video, you're not getting the footage that you were expecting. That's where we were last time here on the XOA skateboard over there on the over there at Templehof. Pretty cool. Nice and tight. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright guys, bike unit's going. Cameras are recording. Hopefully we don't have any other issues along the way. We got Templehof here on the left. Cut through Temple Hop, y'all. We're just here at the X-Way. Let's go drop through Temple Hop on the Super 73 now. This is an ganz normale Pedelec. Ganz normale Pedelec? Genau. Haben Sie da irgendwie äh, ein Modell von, dass man nachschauen kann, ob es gut geht? Ja. Ja. Einmal rechts? Gerne. Cool. Berlin Bike Cops. <lacht> Ich kenne nur verschiedene davon. Ja. Ich weiß, dass äh, viele erlaubt sind, aber auch viele nicht. Ja, klar, nee, nee. Es ist ganz normale E-Pack 2 Pedelec. Wie schnell fährt es? 25 km/h. In die, genau. Ganz normale Straßenzulassung. Ich bin schon zweimal von der Polizei angehalten. Ja, alles gut, ist halt äh, was alles Neues. Geprüft. Ne? Genau. Ja, hier ist der ist Aufkleber. Ja, ist das super. Super 73 RX
Nice. Okay, alles klar, reicht mir schon. Hier, ja, alles klar. Schönen Dankeschön, Tag, ja. schönen Tag, Dankeschön. Schöne, äh, schöne Motorrad. Ja, danke. Dankeschön. Ja, das ist die erste in Berlin. Ich mache nur so Videos für meinen YouTube-Channel. Ja. Genau. Schönen Tag. Vielen Dank, ebenso. Der Reifen geplatzt. Wow. Das war ganz schön laut, wa? Eine Schraube oder so? Was anderes? Krass. <lacht> wow. Nicht schlecht. Das war ziemlich laut. Nicht schlecht. Dann. Ich will piepen auf dem Ohr jetzt. Nee, das krasse ist, dass gerade vor zwei Tagen die ganzen Reifen gewechselt. Ja, voll gefährlich, oder? Das ist einfach so, äh, ist ja eigentlich nur Luft, oder? Ja. Zum Glück ist es gerade jetzt passiert. Nicht aus, dass das so far, ich weißt du? Ich die fahren 25 und dann... Sehr verrückt. Wow. Hat sich ja eher wie ein Schuss angehört. <lacht> okay. Aber Ihnen geht's gut, ja? Alles gut, danke schön. Okay, dann fahre ich weiter, ja? Vielen Dank. Alles klar. Oh, guys. Super 73 tire just exploded on me. How about that? Time to get a new tire. Okay. Darf ihr, ich hab's gute Fahrradversicherung mit so Abschleppdienst und alles. Wie alt ist, wie alt ist das Fahrrad schon? Vier Monate. Wow. <lacht> <Wahnsinn>. <lacht> ja. Heute soll das nicht mehr vorne und später so passiert, ja? Aber wie gesagt, kein Glück, dass Sie nicht gefahren sind. Auf jeden Fall. Wahnsinn. Wahnsinn. Dankeschön nochmal. Einen schönen Tag. Checking out today's episode. It looks like the Super 73 is done. I'm gonna be no more, more riding for quite some time now. Because as you know, Super 73 does not stock any actual tires. So, yeah, I'm effed. The bike is done. Riding days are done for right now. Yeah, I gotta figure out a way to um, bring the bike into the garage, to the garage, park it, put it away, contact the uh, Super 73, see if they can help me source a tire for it eventually. So, um, yeah, it looks like we're not gonna be doing any mods for the bike right now. Or if we are doing mods, we're doing it while the bike is not functional. So. Like, share, and subscribe. Help me support this channel so you help me get my bike fixed. Sorry we can't go any further, y'all. Take care. Peace. 25.74 kilometers. One hour, 54 minutes. And then that back tire exploded on us. And navigation, boom. No, no, all is good, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go across. Thank you. He is here, so it's all off the pads. Yeah, yeah. And then direct the bullet.